Aloha mai kako. Oh, Dr. Jeanette Sue Mudis, Ko'ui Noa. I'm descended of the Nampala Ohana of Ko'olau Loa, Ko'olau Poko, and Kono O'ahu. I call on the strength of my Ivi Kapuna because I come here today to deliver this message to you, Mr. President. I'm here today to speak to you about impenetrable grief and lasting strength. It is told in our Mo'olelo that when the United States annexed Hawaii over the unambiguous protests of our people, there arose a wailing that lasted for weeks. At the hands of the United States, my people suffered an unimaginable loss that produced an absolutely impenetrable grief. Since that day, you have done everything in your power to sever the ties to Aina that is our living, breathing, loving Ohana. You tried to steal our language so we would forget our kuleana. You tried to disintegrate our families so we would forget our strength. And today, you are trying to silence our claims to our birthright. You call it a rule to reestablish relations. We call it for what it is. A ploy to usurp our aina that is also our kupuna. And we see you, Mr. President. We see that you do not honor your promises to Native people. Even as I speak, we stand in solidarity with those who, whose land suffer under your watch. The youth of Oak Flat, the Winnemum Wintu, and the runners of Standing Rock. Even as we stand with them, insisting that you honor your treaties, we remember our Aina and our Kuleana. And we remember the legendary words of Haunani K. Trask. We are not Americans. We are Hawaiians. And so I come here also with fire in my voice. In every way imaginable, you have tried to separate us from our Aina, but you forgot something. You forgot that our people are voyagers too. We need only look to the stars and the oceans to find our way back to our homeland. Whether the distance is literal or metaphoric, we will find our way home, and we will always, always coup against this injustice. And so with fire in my voice and aloha aina in my heart, I call on you, Mr. President, to abandon the Department of Interior formal government-to-government -government relationship with Native Hawaiian communities. This rule is, is not justice for Hawaiians. It is part of a process that will shortcut and silence the ground-up movement to unite our people and arrive at a collective decision about our future. We do not consent to the settlement of any land claims. We do not consent to benefits for some. We demand justice for all. E como mai, Mr. President. Come join us to imagine a better Hawaii ne. We will protect our birthright until the last aloha aina. Ahui ho. Greetings, everyone. Velina Mai Kako, Velina. Aloha from Kauai. Um, and to all that may hear our voices, I hope that you understand why it is that we are standing here today. We are people that love our aina. We are Napoe aloha, uh, aloha ka aina. And um, this federal recognition stuff has been going on for 16 years. And that's why I'm saying I am tired of this. We don't need their federal recognition. What we want is for them to recognize that we are a sovereign and independent nation already. That's the recognition we want from you, United States, President Obama, Department of Interior. Recognize us because the truth is that we are a sovereign and independent nation already. And any more times that you're going to try to shove this federal recognition issue down our throats, you are not going to win because we are never going to stop resisting. Kue, kue, kue is what I say to all of your rules and regulations. We are never ever gave you consent to that. We protested it full on thousands and thousands of our people and they squashed it. They squashed our voices and lied and said that 
we were not well represented, that the majority was pro-federal recognition. So the truth is, President Obama and the Department of Interior, you do not have our consent to do this because you are speaking to another government here. You're speaking to the Kingdom of, Ka of Hawaii. This is our government. We are sovereign and independent nation. Come back and come talk to us. Sit at the table with us and let's talk some more about this as government to government. So, okay, for all our people that are hearing my voice, I love you all. Stand with us, please, in this um, um, effort to continue to steal our lands, to steal our sovereignty, and to steal the future of our children is what this is going to be. It'll never happen because we're never going to give up. Keep trying and you will continue to get a kue, kue, kue. Aloha mai. Aloha keakua. I pray that keakua also is looking upon us, his people, his children, and seeing the plight that we are in and will give us assistance. I also invoke the presence of my ancestors too, all of our ancestors to stand here with us and give us the guidance and the knowledge to how to overcome this, this um, travesty of federal recognition. And they will hear us and they will call. And you know why? It's because, it's because of our kupuna that we are standing here today. We're standing for them and for our future generations. So mahalo for this opportunity. I love you all. I love our aina. I love our nation. And I love our people because we are the people of Aloha. Aloha is love. Mahalo. Mahalo, Auntie Nani. Mahalima. Yay. Okay, next we're going to hear from Brother Tim Reese. Tim, why do you oppose federal recognition for our people? Aloha, my name is Timothy Reese. I claim the rights and accept the obligations as a Hawaiian subject, which is my right as a descendant of Hawaiian Kingdom subject, subject under international law. I adamantly oppose the actions of the federal government of the United States in regards to federal recognition as it is a continuation of a fraud and just another act by their government not consistent with the U.S. Constitution or uh, international law. Um, there, we find ourselves in a convergence of a fraud or a history that misrepresented the actual historical and legal facts. And we are now, as a Lahui, being exposed to the truth. And our people are awakening. And uh, the recent developments appear to me to be a weak attempt at trying to beat our Lahui to the punch and waking up and force them into some sort of contractual agreement to relinquish our sovereignty, which is intact. We are an independent nation state and have continued to be since the unlawful overthrow of 1893. Um, I have faith in our Lahui. We need time to educate our Lahui and remember who we are. And uh, we are who our ancestors were. And we just need time. And uh, I do not condone the latest attempts by the U.S. federal government to trap us into believing that we are an Indian tribe. Mahalo. Mahalo Nui Tim. Thank you for your manalo today. I, I'm so sorry I don't say your name. Jeffrey Horier. Aloha Kako. Aloha, Aloha Nui Kako. Uh, or, or Jeffrey Horier. Kohui Noa. My Komoku Okiavi. My uh, Aloha No O Kawaii. Mano O Kalanipo. Mm -hmm. Okia Aina. Huyana la, Napoe Pono. In a mere. In a mere. Ko'opa. We will never give up. It is our birthright and all of what Auntie and what Brother has just said. True. Poki. Pono i. Polo lei. Kila manawa, kila balaa, kila haiana i. Ika mea uwai. So, all all of the people out there and my people all the people that believe in aloha it is the key it is the key to our freedom and 
the government will never stop us because we know the truth and we will pull it together for the rest of our families. Ayo. Thank you. Mahalo. 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 Aloha, my name is Ka'iulani and I'm speaking out today as a Hawaiian woman and a Hawaiian national against the heva of President Obama's fake federal recognition process which he announced earlier today. Two years ago, the U.S. State Department was asked to show proof that a legal annexation of the Hawaiian Kingdom actually took place. The request came from Office of Hawaiian Affairs CEO Kamanaopono Crab, May 5th, 2014. Rather than answer the question and show us proof of our ownership of our country, President Obama instructed his Department of Interior to discuss federal recognition. Within two months of the request for proof of jurisdiction, proof that we all know does not exist, the DOI held hearings for two weeks. Thousands of people tried to testify, but the DOI only had time for hundreds. 95% of the Hawaiians who spoke were opposed to federal recognition and any Department of Interior or federal interference in our right to self-determination. Again, instead of listening to the Hawaiian people, President Obama instructed his Department of the Interior to completely go wrong the congressional process for federal recognition and create a new set of rules to be used on the Hawaiian people. Today, he announced these new fake rules so that he could begin the process of lying pretending to the American public and the Hawaiian people that what he is trying to do to us is legitimate, but we know it's a lie. Now, instead of actually helping us with the problems we face as a result of the ongoing U.S. occupation of Hawaii, President Obama has announced his process for choosing which fake government entity he will personally recognize and federalized so that he can attempt to legitimize the theft of two million acres of our crown and government land. There's nothing in his fake federal recognition process that addresses real problems that Hawaiians have to deal with, such as homelessness, because we cannot afford to even pay rent in our homeland, which is an economic reality brought on by the military and millionaire takeover of our housing market. Problems such as the highest rates of incarceration and suicide and diabetes and cancer. Problems such as the largest number of open field GMO test sites in the world. Problems such as the theft of our water from sacred mountains like Waiale Ale, water to be bottled rather than used in farming. Problems such as 95% food dependency on container vessels from 2,500 miles away. Problems such as ongoing mass desecrations for vacation homes, as we have seen on Kauai and every other island, and desecration of our sacred Haleakala and Mauna Kea, which has been militarized for their projects like the 30-meter telescope. After spending tens of millions of dollars on the fake Kana'i Oluvalu list, and the fake Na'iau Puni constitution to create a fake tribe, the best President Obama could come up with was to further cover up the illegal U.S. overthrow of the Hawaiian Kingdom, the fake annexation, fake statehood with a fake set of new fake rules in his Department of Interior so he can create a fake land transfer of our national lands and our heritage. Today, President Obama insulted all Hawaiians, from the ali'i who established our independence to the Hawaiians living today and all future generations. Today, President Obama continued the American tradition of empirism and theft. We, the Hawaiian people, reject President Obama's actions. We reject his Department of Interior's so-called fake rules. We reject his hand-chosen sellout Hawaiians. We reject his lies and his deceit. We will not go along with the theft of our nationhood, our heritage, our kuleana, and our lands. We will kue to the very last aloha aina. Mahalo. Mahalo nui to everyone who joined us today. We are 
still kind of in shock, but not really, because it's sneaky, sneaky kind people we're dealing with, a very dishonorable country. No honor, President Obama. And Robin Danner, you do not speak for the Kanaka people. You are not our voice, Robin Danner. All right, we'll see you soon. Aloha. that we don't want government to government two years ago when there was over 2,000 people told the feds and the DOI pack up and go home we don't want you guys here and then what they did what did they do <laughs> they went on computer squeezed down the list and said you need to do this on the computer, electronic. Mm. How sad it was to not to hear the voices of our people right. that they had to hit electronic. Now they were so scared that the voices of the Hawaiian people have been heard and they running to Congress and what they have to do, go tell the president, please, please sign that, please. We don't have enough people that wants federal recognition, and that's the damn truth. Stand for Koho Ipaya, you know? There's no jurisdiction. We're never annexed. Uh, we're occupied. The United States understands that we know the truth now, so they try to pull another fast one by this so called federal recognition. And you know, we have the right to determine our future without you guys interference in the United States. So mind your own business. We don't need your permission. We can do what we need to do. And we're prepared to do that now. Uh, more fun and games for the United States. Uh, again, trying to take what is not theirs. So they know they could not take our land. There was no treaty of annexation. So they couldn't take our land through that means. So they're trying to pursue it through this federal recognition. They're gonna exchange all of our kingdom and Ali's crown land for Kaholavi. And it all belongs to us, so we'll keep Kaholavi and everything else. Mahalo. <laughs> I'm in support for what we are standing for, which is our right to be Kanakas and own ownership of our Hawaii, I know. So mahalo for those who are coming together and providing this kokua. To everybody. You know, listening to these guys this morning and what they said was true. You know, hey, give us back what belongs to us. That's it. That's all we ask you for. Just give us what belongs to us. You know, rightfully ours. What is rightfully ours should be given back to us. Not well, we gotta be a tribe. Now they like us be on tribe? No, I don't think so. My thing now is no government to government. And Robin and everybody else should be ashamed of themselves mm -hmm. to doing things like that. Shame. I don't know. Because they cannot live without the money. We can't. We can do that. Give us our land back. Give us the things that we needed. He stole from us. He literally stole from us, Mr. President. If you were born and raised in Hawaii, you would know the oppression that we had for almost 200 years. But you were too busy going for no home. <laughs> too much for no home. <laughs> Too much puno. <laughs> That's where you was. Oh my God. <laughs> but we need to stand up, all you Kanaka people. Come on. Come on.
Come on. Do what is right. Yeah, look. We got the island back. Come on. No, they put us on that But island. now they like put us on over here. On Cajon Lave. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. DOI is Heba. We don't need their help. We can do it on our own. We actually have a established government kingdom. Just gotta bully the system. Change names. Yeah. Put on the flag. Put up our flag. We're Hawaiian National Kanaka Maoli and we include everybody. If you like come Hawaii, you come and you come with love and aloha. That's all we ask. Respect the Hawaiian Kingdom. The problem is some of our brothers and sisters think that they can go stepwise. They're going to be Americans first, get the money, and then later on get independent. It won't happen that way. No can. Once you get to be American, you stop. It won't happen. But you in America, you in America. They brainwashed all these. They were too successful in brainwashing the folks over the last hundred years. Aloha. Aloha. Good to see you. It's all about money. It's all about the money, federal grants, money, federal this, money. It's all about the money. Money, 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 money. We cannot have grants for dual agriculture. We cannot have money to support our children. We cannot have money to do all the things that we want. That's gold. We are self-sufficient as Hawaiians. We self-sustain our, our own people from before. They stole our land, they stole our rights, they stole our culture. So, in my mind, this is just a, a way for OHA, CNHA to maintain their funding, is basically what I see it as. They're the ones that lobbied this so that they can continue getting their fat paychecks, and that's the truth. Um, I don't know how much does Omaha representative make? Did somebody put it on Facebook. They make six figures. These guys are not for the people. They're only for themselves. And same thing with these guys who are seeking federal recognition. They're only for themselves. If you want true proof of that, look at what's going on at Cannonball right now. What's going on at Standing Rock. That's a perfect example. They have this thing called imminent domain. They claim imminent domain and they just take what they want anyway. Anyway. So what you do doesn't matter. So all we can do is maintain our independence within our minds. I'm Hawaiian. I was born in Hawaii. My family goes back generations here, thousands of years. I'm from here. I'm born Hawaiian. I'm going to die Hawaiian. And my heart is Hawaiian. I'll never be an American. Ew. And that's how I feel. So protest federal rule. I love everybody. I'm not trying to say anything bad about anybody, but that's the truth. America's been corporatized. And this uh, resolution that's been signed into law by President Obama is its just a way to further their corporate interest. And that's what it is. So, I don't know if Uncle Faka said it, but then. <laughs> no, he never. <laughs> yes. Ew. <laughs> I love you guys. But you. <laughs> Turn around. Turn it shut out of hot. This my other sign. I spelled Fed Rec two different ways. from um, Standing Rock uh, Saturday night um, and it was a great experience up there you know and you know that's what what our native brothers and sisters fighting for up there it's the same thing that we fighting down here so we need to stand you know this is this is the time for us Kanaka Maolis 
to stand strong and you know be corner and you know we're here we just gotta keep keep our keep our focus on what we are focusing about you know our kingdom you know and 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 what we stand for the mauna the mauna is the biggest the biggest thing we gotta stand for because that's like the pico of all our islands you know it's it's you know that that's that's the that's our forefathers of our land yeah. over here you know um, um yeah we're so proud of you guys you and mikey and all all you guys at you know, it's, it's a it's a great thing to be standing for yeah. standing for our water because you know out there in the world you know it, Maybe us Hawaiians over here don't see what's everything going on in the world, but I tell you, the world, the oil leaks around the world is so bad that it's, you cannot, I mean, there's no envir environmental impact to take on that. You know, it's, it's natural, it's, it's showing, it's, it's devastation, you know, uh, and it's devastating the, our earth, our mother earth, you know, and that's why it's like so, so we gotta stand for it, you know, and be pono and be strong on it, you know. That's yeah. all I get to say. Oh no, I get like, questions. Sure. I get, I get pinpoint questions. Okay, okay, pinpoint me. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 just because you were up there and you was up there for how long, Uncle? How I was up there for like um, about like the three, three weeks, about oh, three that's and a half a weeks. Month. Yeah, yeah. It's about a month, but I took a little vacation to visit my sons and went back up again, and um and stand again with our brothers and sisters up there. It's so great to be seeing all our native people, our native Indians coming together as one up there, you know, because you had like 200 different um, tribes coming together up there and and, and, and being Kono with each other for one thing. And that one thing is water. And water is life and that's, that's, that's a huge thing. We made up of water. We made up of water, you know. We, you know, when we die, we're going to be melting like water in the coffin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, because I had experienced that. Wow, wow. Yeah. Don't scare me, Uncle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so, you know, coming back after being back home, you know, you know, when you come home, you get a little bit more clarity, clarity about what, you know, from, yes. from what you learned yes. up there. You do um, have a little bit what, of what was one of the, the biggest lessons you learned up in Standing Rock from just watching what how they was what they you was know, doing up the, there? The biggest lessons was, you know, the, the people, our native people coming together. You know, that's you know, it's history being made up there right now with our native Indians up there. I don't want to say Native Americans yeah. because you know what? I like to, you know, that's, you know, they're not Americans, man. They, they, they're, the, they're the original people of their lands, you know, and they shouldn't be placed as Americans. Mm -hmm. They're just native people of their land. So I learned about them coming together, no matter what it is, you know, what they had encountered with each other in the past. They, they bring in, they, they, you know, making ho'oponopono. They're making things right with each other up there and that's like that's huge that's like 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 i say history in the making for them you know and and um and i think so you know by seeing that what goes on up there the same with our people back here you know it, it's it's like history in the making like now that like doi come back with this whole whole shingama rig stupidity you know and you see how people standing up because you know they don't they don't like that you know they want an independent kingdom to to converse with the United States Kingdom of Hawaii United States and that's how we're gonna fight you know that's how we're gonna negotiate things not where we gotta go a nation within a nation that's bullshit you know that's bullshit our 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 queen when leave us behind with a kingdom with a government with with, with one independent government 
govern ourselves. So that's why I think she left it behind for us to wake up and and bring our independent back as independent government. No government within a government. That's no good. That's that's heaven. Mm -hmm. That's so heaven, yeah. you know. So, so <laughs> any anybody from Standing Rock came to Mauna Kea last year? Yes, time? yes, they yeah. had they had a handful of people that came to San, Standing Rock and stand with us up there last year, and I met the boys. They, there was actually a pretty good sized bunch of boys came last year, um, and I met them, and um, you know they they're ready for stand again if we if the TMT come again, you know they go they'll be here. You know, our native brothers and sisters, they're going to be here strong, you know. They're going to be coming strong when, if, right if that TNT ever try to go back up there again, they think, you know, I, I just, you know, see on Facebook people posting that majority of the people on the big island is for it. That's, That's bullshit. bullshit. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. We know that. That no can, you know, no. that, that is heaven. That's you know, not, not talk that kind of shit, you know? Mm -hmm. Be truthful. Be truthful. That's a lie. Big time. It's just like they say, we all like, it's divided, federal recognition right. and, and kingdom. It's, it's, right. not, it's not a divide, it's, it's more, I think, it's only a small group of fed wrecks. That's right, there. that's right. They, they, that's what they want to do. They want to keep on screwing yeah. us over yeah. and keep on telling us what well, to do. They, they're calling us that's the vocal right. minori that's uh, minority. That's, that's what they're bullshit. calling us the DUI. You know? And that's so bullshit, is ever, you know, that, that no can. What is right, what is right is right. Do the right thing, America. Don't fuck with us anymore. Right. Do the right thing, America. Where's the justice, Sam? Yes, right. That's right. Right. Mahalo, Uncle. Right, right, on. right on. I'm so proud of you guys and Mikey. And, you know, I'm oh. so proud of all our Kanakas mm -hmm. because we're standing. We, yeah. we here, we standing and right on. Just heartfelt, you know. I better stop my mic. Ooh, hey, Bali, no. That's a kid. I'm <laughs> crying.